Alright, so for this problem we are using we're using graphs and uh, uh, talking about functions. And this is going to be a super basic problem, but just doing a refresher. Uh, so it says the number n in millions of US cellular phone subscribers is shown in the table. I mean your estimates are given. So A says use the data to sketch a rough graph of n as a function of t. So usually we have f as a function of x. And we know that when f is a function of x, um, that's going to be equal to your y value. Uh, so you're going to have your y axis up here, and of course your x axis going horizontal. So, but for this one, we're saying n as a function of t. Um, so we've got n as a function of t which is also going to equal your y value okay so f as a function of x just like n as a function of t so don't let that throw you off or anything um, same thing so in this case we're going to use the t uh, down here and then of course the n is going to be going this way so let's uh, let's just draw our, uh, our graph here. We got. We'll start off with 1996 uh, right here. So we'll say 96, 97, 98, 2000, 2002, 2004 and 2006 okay and then we're going to use a different color um, so let's go with I think we can do it in increments of 25 um, so we got 25 50 75 100 25, 50, 75, 200, 225, and up there is going to be 250. Okay, so first thing, you know, this is so simple. Uh, you know, the first thing you're going to do is just line it up. So in 1996, you had 44. Uh, so here's 25, here's 50, midway is going to be 37.5, so probably about right here somewhere. And 98, you're going to have 69, so uh, 60, so it's going to be about right in here. Uh, 2000, you're going to have 109, so you got 2000, and you come up here to 109. Okay, so you know 100, between 100 and 125 is 25. Half of that is 12.5, and we're trying to get at 109, so it's going to be right under the 50% mark. So it'll be about right, I'm sorry, right about here. Alright, so for 02, we're looking at 141, so let's see, probably it's going to be a little bit above, so right there. For 04, you're looking at 182. be a little below the 50% mark. And then for 06, we're looking at 233, which is probably going to be about right in here. Okay, so what you're going to do is um, just kind of connect these. Uh, of course, I'm going to mess that up. but And that's kind of your trend, and um, it kind of picks up. And anyway, so that is for A. And for B, it says use your graph to estimate the number of cell phone subscribers at mid year in 2005. I'm sorry, in 2001 and 2005. So you come over here and you got 0002, zero, 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 so here's 2001. And you just go up here and it's going to be um, right in here, roughly about 125. Um, but of course, you, you know, you can just check this algebraically if you needed to, and for that, all you'd have to say is, um, 
you just would get the average. So you get the average between 0 and 02. So we know in 2000 there was 109. And then in 2002 there's 141. That's going to give us 250. You divide that by 2 for the average. And you're looking at 125 million uh, cell phone subscribers. So for 2001, we're looking at 125 million. And then for 2005, alright, so uh, go over here to the graph. Here's 04, here's 05. We go up, and it looks like it's going to be probably about 205, somewhere in there. Um, then, like I said, we can kind of do this algebraically. And uh, same deal. 233 plus 182. Uh, 819. So it's 415. Divided by 2 is going to give you 207.5. And so um, that one, 207.5 million is your answer. And like I said, that was just a real easy problem, just kind of getting you guys used to uh, getting, you know, your f of x and kind of associating that. So if you have different variables like n of t, you'll know exactly where to put them. Um, and that is it.